So here's the ML agent I've been working on. It's a uh, mud skipper. And to give you an idea of what that is, because you may not have actually heard of a mud skipper before, um, I, here's a Google image search of mud skippers. So I thought this would be kind of fun because they can, they're amphibians, so they can swim and they can use their flippers, but they can also scoot around on land. So I thought it'd be a really bizarre project to work on. Um, it's inspired by Puppo, the Corgi, which was a Unity project that they showed um, on the Unity blog recently, or let's see, when was this? October 2nd, 2018. And basically they've set this up so that it has these joints that can be driven by joint motors, and then they just train it to fetch a stick. Um, so I thought I could probably get this working with uh, an elephant originally. The elephant turned out to be a lot more complicated than I thought. So here we are with this really bizarre looking creature. I 3D modeled it in Blender. So, whoops, uh, this is Blender 2.8. And you can see that I have joints that I've made. So if I go into, uh, let's see, hold on, I need to select the right thing. If I go into pose mode, you can see that these um, are hooked up so that the mesh deforms properly when they move around. And then, let's see, back to Unity. So these things are training right now. They're training at 50 times speed. Uh, but basically I have, they're trying to move toward this box, but all they can do is flip their fins or wiggle their tail and um, they're either gonna be dropped in water, like you see here, on dry land, or something that's in between. Um, I have just three different settings and it randomly picks one. It keeps changing on me. Uh, but then they're challenged to, to find or to get close to the box regardless of which type of, you know, terrain they're dropped on. So it's not working super good yet. Uh, this hasn't been training too long, probably just a few minutes here, but that's what I'm working on. Uh, let me let me actually see if I can do this in real time. I'll switch from time scale of 50 to one just to see what they look like. If we maximize this again. So they're kind of just wiggling for now. They haven't figured it out yet. I did train before the tail wasn't working properly before when I was training it and they did manage to scoot themselves around pretty efficiently and, and find the box in the center. But I think it'll be really fun to get them working with, um, tails that can help them swim through the water. Um, so the goal is to, of course, turn this into a tutorial at some point, but this is part of the work I'm doing to figure out what to do for a cool tutorial. So, Thanks for checking it out.